deputies responded Monday evening to a trespass report on a property south of Northwood where a group of 8 to 10 people from the Black Hammer organization were camping prior to a property purchase that ultimately did not occur. When deputies arrived, they advised the group of the trespass and they left the area without incident. Deputies found some individuals were legally armed and posing no threat to public safety. There have been no reports that the group has since been in the area. The Black Hammer organization states on its website that it is a revolutionary mass organization dedicated towards building a sustainable future for all colonized people worldwide. Turns out they didn't even buy the property. They didn't even spend the money on the property. It was 100% a grift. If this is going to be your introduction, you know, don't miss the pun, it's hammer time. Oh shit, okay, well, stations, we've got to drop so many. I want to talk about Black Hammer uh, a little bit because I think the arc is over. And I want to take a reflection on what it was, what it means, and especially to like the broader leftism as a whole. This is basically 100% a grift, and it's been used and utilized by the enemies of the left, the right to far right, to tarnish both black liberation, black nationalism, indigenous nationalism, colonial, uh, colonial set settler, oh, I can't even speak right now, uh, colonial settler, <laughs> I, I can't say it because uh, the, the Métis part of me has been destroyed by settlers, all right? I, I have been colonized uh, through through and throughout, as you can tell uh, by the way I speak about this. But anyways, it's been used to tarnish these things. Like, some people have wanted to accuse them of being a PSYOP in some way because it makes so many things look ridiculous. It makes the left as a whole look ridiculous. And that's kind of, it almost seems a little bit like the point. It makes like people who happen to be even part or uh, uh, indigenous, people who happen to be black, people who happen to be part of leftist movements as a whole, people who happen to believe in black liberation, people who happen to believe in uh, land back movements, stuff like that, all seem like cartoons. I, I tweeted this out a little while ago that white people calling white people settler on, on Twitter is kind of ridiculous. It just really feels performative. Just kind of like, you know, no one wants to be like a purity testing kind of shit. Like I, I don't believe in the whole anti-SJW narrative of like people just virtue signal to virtue signal. I think most people talk about a lot of issues because it's it's like you get, a, it's infectious. When you see something on Twitter and, and you get upset about it or it makes you upset, you want to talk about it too. That's, that's kind of how this works, right? But I think if you're using it as a gotcha, if you're just constantly like, oh, you would say that as a fucking like settler, goddamn settler, colonizer, and then it's like a white person yelling at another white person. They both live in like San Fran and they're both saying that to each other. And they're both in like, you know, upper, upper middle class families. And it's just like, yeah, you fucking settlers online. It, it's just kind of performative silliness. And, and, it, and it really, it makes all of us look ridiculous. All of us, I'm not just talking about people who are part indigenous or people who happen to be, uh, you know, uh, fighting for this, but people who are advocates for uh, land back and the land back movement, uh, for example, and, and things of that nature, or for, for black liberation, people like Black Hammer make ridiculous. And in the case of Black Hammer, it's not a CIA op. It's not a CIA op. I don't think it is. I think it's a grift. I, I think it's a grift. And it's a successful one because they manufacture outrage so well. The movement has been in the headlines multiple times for how anti-Semitic they are. They will say the worst anti-Semitic stuff ever, ever, you know, praising Hitler, uh, saying that like, you know, uh, uh, Hitler uh, was, was basically fighting uh, settler colonizers and other weird shit like that, uh, saying that, like, you know, uh, it's a good f thing that Anne Frank died. Shit like that that gets you in headlines. And it gets you in headlines because, A, it's horrifying. It's horrifying and anti-Semitic. And on top of that, people on the right suddenly have all the ammo they've ever needed. That's what this fucking does. This gives them all the ammo they've ever needed to tarnish things uh, like black liberation movements, to tarnish things like indigenous liberation movements, because they see this shit and it's like, oh yeah, the left, the left are anti-Semitic and they're clowns. One of the two, or both, or both. Yeah, oh, they called Anne Frank and Colonizer a ton. Like, it's, it's super weird shit. Anyways, so they have a bunch of programs that you can sign up for, especially if you're white. So if you want to join, because it says no whites allowed, what you have to do is you have to have your whiteness expunged, expunged from yourself. You have to, you have to remove your whiteness, which I think is absolutely fucking hilarious, especially if people have bought into this. Like these people have found a way to exploit white guilt and to profit off it. And that to me, if that was all there was to this would kind of be fucking hilarious. Like just as a bit, 
I think that's really funny, especially if you can give it it's just like rich suburban white people who are like, oh, oh yes, oh, yeah, please expunge my whiteness. That that'll solve institutional racism. This this is this is definitely going to be a good a good solution for that. Again, again, only if this entire thing wasn't completely uh, giving the ammo necessary for racists and right wingers and liberals to actually make fun of the left. All right, that's that's why I want to call this shit out. That's why I want to say that Black Hammer is fucking horrible anti-semitic garbage uh and everything they do is trash but anyways they've even given different tiers for removing your whiteness obviously for a hundred dollars you get the the che Guevara package uh for fifty dollars you get the thomas and kyra package now these are just to join as a as a membership they actually have courses in which you can pay to have like uh, i think it's a two-week course for a couple grand or something in in the in if you get the mao tier if you get the mao as a dong tier at which point your whiteness could be completely removed and afterwards once your whiteness has been removed you are no longer a colonizer then you are ready to be a part of the Black Hammer organization. So so there's that as well, you know, all, all those kind of things. Uh, can you sell T and F surpasses to the straits? Hey, I mean, that's why not? Well, like there's 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 got to be so many different grifts that can be done here. I mean, hey, if you happen to be a, a, a black person, why not sell the N word passes? I mean, so many people are just are just using them for free. So many people are claiming on Twitch that they they just got them from their black friends. So so why not sell them? You know, you, you can make a probably turn a, a quick profit there. There's there's got to be some some money to be had uh, doing all this. Jokes aside. They went as far as building what they called Black Hammer City. Now, this is where things got a, a, a little bit wild. Black Hammer City is a Black Hammer organization's latest project, building a city for all people of color to be free, no discrimination of nationality, gender, age, mental, physical differences, jobs, housing, food, and healthcare, no cops, no rent, no coronavirus, nice, and no white people. No white people whatsoever. Now, that's not saying no white people as, uh, as, uh, and if, like, if you happen to have white skin, it's if you have whiteness but if you've had the whiteness expunged from their their program and their course for a fee for damanis then of course you're welcome to be in black hammer city of course like you're no longer a white person you know you've you've had your whiteness purged you can you can have your whiteness cleansed returning the land to indigenous people here's where shit got fucked all right this is where stuff they were arguing with indigenous activists on twitter where, where indigenous activists were telling them, why the fuck are you doing this? Like the 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 indigenous anarchist federation, for example, uh, of whom I'm friends with, uh, were actively being like, what, what the fuck are you saying? Returning the land to indigenous people. Like this has nothing to do with it, returning the land to indigenous. This is not a land back movement. Please stop trying to hijack like serious work that we're trying to do that like we have literally died in the struggle of, in the pursuit of. Please don't make this into a meme. Because you're memeing this. This is really, really serious. And this is honestly, it's damaging. Hundreds of people have already backed Black Hammer City. The project raised $65,000 in under nine months. The grift is real. Donate to build Black Hammer City on Cash App and Venmo. Or donate right here. Unlock a fucking revolution, comrades. All right? We're at 69, not nice, $1,000. Nearly at $70,000. God damn. Like, it's, it's, it, yeah. Send us your Bitcoin, Ethereum, buy our merch. Uh, fucking what is Hammer City? Look at what it's gonna look like. So, so they bought Hammer City. Now they obviously got an immediate response, uh, and everyone was like, "What is going on?" I'm sure everyone has seen this viral video by now. Hello, Antifa. <laughs> it's me, Gazi, the commander in chief of the Black Hammer organization. Land back. Land back. Land back. Land back. You see what I mean by like memeing the whole land back movement? Like it's like literal clowns. He's a literal clown. I heard you had some not so nice things to say about me. I heard you had some nice things to say about my hammers. Mm. I heard you had not so nice things to do to one of my members, one of my dear, dear members, an African Filipino mother that you doxed. And thought you could get away with it. Thought we were going to back down. So, like, obviously this is all super, super strange and weird. But, hey, there's there's 7 billion human beings on the planet, all right? There's an unbelievable amount of ideologies. We're going to see this. It was a matter of time before we had the anti-Semitic grifting, what is it, co-opters of the land back movement, black communist, like, organization. It, it was a matter of time. You know, that, again, there's just so many people, so much stuff going on around the world. We were probably going to see this. Thought we were going to take it. And no, 
that's not gonna happen. You messed with the wrong one this time. Well, yeah, it is performative because I think the whole thing, again, like here's here's the grift. We've seen the numbers. They've already raised $69,000 for this project. Here is them, and I'm not joking, building. This is not a bit they're not like they're not this is not part of the performative side of things they're like they're legitimately supposed to be building hammer city right now there's they're still leveling a single piece of wood they're, they're still trying to level it yeah i have yet to see a single hammer by the way four hours four hours Oh, it's real. This was taken from one of their live stream feeds, and then it's just been turned into a meme for self-evident reasons. Anyways, uh, I'm sure by now you've you've seen uh, a handful of the stuff they've done, uh, a handful of the ridiculous things they've done. I posted one video that I found. Oh God, I've been expunged, expunged from the internet. Whoa, is this a fake account? Here's uh, here's the leader of the Black Hammer uh, defending Kyle Rittenhouse and uh, the defense and murder of uh, sorry the defense of people over property uh, and that it's justified to murder other human beings in self defense. Loaded for automatic property. weapon and these white leftists jumped him, harassed him, and then he defended himself. Do do do, just like the song says. Don't be cloud chasing. Do do do. That's what happened. Do do do. Don't be cloud chasing. Kyle got that aim. You feel me? And like, so he took out three of them and, and they were armed as well. So it wasn't even like he took out like unarmed people. They was armed and attacking him. They was attacking him. Kyle showed you who's tough. And that's why you mad. That's why you mad. You should have listened to Black Hammer. But now you're six feet under. Worms is eating you and your communist manifesto. So... Yeah, I know. He's kind of taking up. Uh, he's kind of taking up the destiny defense there. It's funny when I posted this, there was so many people who jumped in the comments that were just like, "Whoa, based! Oh shit, base take! Holy fuck! Didn't know he was so based." I was like, "Oh, cool, siding with an anti-Semite to own the left, eh?" But you know, that's the whole thing. Anyways, I have something to announce. Here's how it started. Thanks to all of you, Black Hammer has successfully liberated 200 acres of land to build our city for colonized people only. We are located high up in the mountains, 10,000 feet in the air with rich soil. We have one lake and three rivers on the land. San Miguel County Sheriff. 
Deputies responded Monday evening to a trespass report on a property south of Northwood where a group of 8 to 10 people from the Black Hammer organization were camping prior to a property purchase that ultimately did not occur. When deputies arrived, they advised the group of the trespass and they left the area without incident. Deputies found some individuals were legally armed and posing no threat to public safety. There have been no reports that the group has since been in the area. The Black Hammer organization states on its website that it is a revolutionary mass organization dedicated towards building a sustainable future for all colonized people worldwide. Turns out they didn't even buy the property. They didn't even spend the money on the property. It was 100% a grift. Totally a grift. They just, uh, they just showed up. I mean, I think everyone should have first guessed that when they, th like, you can't buy property of that size in the United States anywhere for $68,000. That's just not, not a thing. Uh, on top of which, I mean, let's, let's be totally real. Anyone who saw the property was like that is, that is not tenable soil like you're not going to start you're not going to start a city or a commune like it's it's an arid desert hey, come the fuck on you know so i guess yeah them spending an entire day working on a single piece of plywood kind of makes sense anyways i'm kind of happy that this whole thing is kind of over i just don't want it to overshadow or take away i want everyone to understand okay at the end of the day this is not representational of anything leftist black hammer are clowns they are absolute and like they are literal clowns they dress up in clown makeup and, and they say clownish things uh and grifters clowns and grifters who are co-opting a lot of different movements co-opting socialist movements co-opting communist movements co-opting black liberation co-opting land back but they're doing it performatively entirely for profit it, the whole thing is is for profit it's a grift all right it's, it's a performative grift and and don't allow anyone to tell you that this is what, like, black nationalism is. This is what land back is. This is what indigenous rights is. Like, no, it, it is none of those things. This, this is what people doing things uh, on you know, as clowns on the internet for money. Yes, the grifter clown posse. 100%. Start to finish. Who would have thunk? Yeah, I know. Who would have who thunk any of this would have been possible? Hey, did... Do you, do you like movies? Do, do you like do you like surfs? Do, do you want do you want do you want movies and sur surfs watching the movies? So then come over to the new channels. It's the surfs cinema. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can you do the thing? You know that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives. Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you can you delete it? Like just just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just it's not a great company. But hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just going to be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom, MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you got to do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there, wearesurfs.com. Thanks, everybody. To our gods, I'm Raft and Xander Corvus. We shall build golden idols in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, our soft, spongy flesh is yours to command. To our lords, Evan Nudy, Trevor R., Alexander Thaler, Ryan Lubin, bisexual black gamer, Toe Fox, and Jeffrey Lamb, we proudly carry your sigils onto the battlefield. And to our knights of the round table, Riley and Anna, Poodlehawk, Multimondi, Timothy Hart, Trevor Janis, Lemmy 101, Anthropophagic, Saren 42, Chronic to Hemp Hog, Kelly Kotka, The Great Poudini, Bon Jenny, Catherine, Radical Maniac, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, J. Fraser Cartwright, Jimmy Big Nuts, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Nicholas Marks, Jopi, Josh Mickelson, Melissa Murphy, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, and Constance Joyce Lacheris. We tip our cap and lift our mug and salute you.